I think a lot of patients really struggle with the, the question of, do I need surgery? It, it, it's hard to know sometimes, should you go forward? This is a big leap, and is it worth having the procedure? So let me review with you some of what we call indications. These are the, the reasons that patients are now qualified or become candidates to have this surgery. Number one is pain. If you have pain that's going on for six, eight, 12 weeks, then you are a candidate for the procedure and have to consider it. And when I say pain, I mean pain that's not getting better. If you have pain that's severe for week one and week two, but gets better week three, week four, and you still have some pain at week eight, it doesn't mean you need surgery. You're getting better, so don't have surgery. I'm talking about the pain that's not getting better. You can't live with it, it's driving you nuts. That's the time to have surgery. Have the procedure, get your life back, and you'll be very happy. Number two indication for surgery is if you have significant numbness or tingling in the arm that's bothering you or interfering with your life. Numbness will frequently get better on its own, even without surgery, but the best chance for getting better is with the surgery. If you have numbness, it's not a good thing to have long term. It affects you when you're doing tasks. You could drop your tools, you could drop your hammer, you could burn yourself when you're at the stove. So numbness for a week or two is not a big deal. Living your life with a really numb index and thumb is not good because you can drop things and it becomes very problematic. The third indication for surgery is weakness. If you have weakness, that's a big problem going through life. And you can say to yourself, well now, it's not such a big deal, I don't really need this, this hand to do this. But as time goes on and you get older, having weakness is a big deal, especially as we get older and need to use a cane or a walker, and if your hand or arm is giving, giving way, then you can fall down and break a bone and it becomes a big issue. So for us, weakness is the time that we really step forward and say to patients, listen, you really need to have this done because you need to do everything you can to regain that function of, of strength in the arm. So the big three indications for surgery are pain, numbness and tingling, and weakness. But as a patient, what you have to do is take a step back and ask yourself, am I getting better? And a step back looking at this week by week. And if it's week six and you're just as bad as you were at week two, then you really have to start thinking about having surgery. If your pain is out of control at week two, even though you haven't given this all the time in the world, you may need to have surgery too because you just can't go on in this severe pain. These are the things you can talk to your doctor about, but in general terms, those are the indications for when to have surgery.